Hi, it's Terry Vanover with Choosing to Rise, and I'm a divorce strategist, and I help you come through divorce without being legally, financially, and emotionally devastated. But most importantly, I help you to heal so you can transition confidently into that next phase of your life. So each week, we go live on Facebook, and I talk about a topic that's related to divorce and, and how to get past your divorce and how to heal yourself, because the truth is, unless you change what you're doing, the chances of your second marriage ending in divorce is 67%. So it is vital that you get the support, get the help, change whatever happened um, when you transition so that you don't repeat those mistakes. So, you know, today we're going to be talking about shame and, and what is shame and how to heal this shame. So shame is a universal feeling, right? And, and it, it's an emotion, but, but the issue becomes when shame turns from a fleeting emotion, which everyone experiences, even with young children, right? When they do something quote unquote bad, which is a judgment, that, that's shame, right? So it leads them to shame so that therefore, you know, we feel remorse, we feel shame when we don't repeat that, that behavior. The issue with shame, and especially with, with divorce, is when it comes from being a fleeting emotion to a state of being, right? You don't want to be having a sense of shame all the time. If you do, there's something beneath that. So, and I know a lot about shame because I struggled with shame both during my marriage and afterwards. And I went through a very contentious divorce, two and a half years, two attorneys, two failed mediations, every mistake that you can make, I, I made along the way. And so, you know, now I help people to avoid those mistakes so that they don't, they don't, they have the tools and the resources and, and know what they can do to avoid those mistakes. So I went through a very contentious divorce and I, I, within a very short time, lost my marriage, lost my mother, lost friends and family support, I lost my home, financial security, because I lost my home, it was a financial decision that just ugh, spiraled down from there, and then I was hit by a van while riding my bike, so I lost my health, to surgeries, it, just in a few short months, so I really understand how devastating divorce is and, and the, the, the feeling of regret, the feeling of shame and guilt that it can leave you in. So if you don't heal this shame, here's, here's the truth though. If you don't heal the shame and you're carrying this around, it can really lead to some devastating finding, uh, devastating health issues actually it leads to anxiety depression uh, a sense of perfectionism and uh, toxic relationships so if you are in this state of shame unfortunately it will then keep spiraling down and and you'll the choices that you make can can lead you down to, to negative relationships unhealthy relationships so you might be carrying around some, some shame from your divorce, but here's the truth. The truth is, is that your divorce probably triggered the shame, but the shame stems from your childhood, some unresolved issues from your childhood. And so I teach my clients how to identify the root cause of their shame, where their, their shame first began and then then we heal that so if you're dealing with shame here's the thing the shame is really symptomatic of feelings of unworthiness a feeling of being unlovable unworthy I'm not good enough so the first thing is identifying where those those feelings of shame started from right? And naming it. You know, Brene Brown talks about how you need to, to name the shame, get it out into the open, because shame uh, thrives in three things, silence, secrecy, and judgment. So once you bring that out into the open, there isn't anything 
to 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 leave in the dark, right? So I, I talk very openly about being sexually molested as a child. I, I bring that out into the open very because I it's it's the secrecy. It's a feeling of like, oh I can't tell anyone. It's a secrecy that makes that shameful feeling make me feel like I'm not enough. Right. So I bring that out and open. Once it's out of the shadows, it the darkness can no longer consume me. So naming it. So, so the first thing I do with my clients is I help them to validate that inner child, right? We need to look at that inner child that is unhealed and figure out what does that inner child need and give that, give them the validation, the love, the worthiness that they need. You are lovable. You are worthy. You know, just because you're sexually abused doesn't mean you're not worthy doesn't mean you're tainted or you're spoiled or you don't deserve love and happiness right so we have to heal that so I have a client also and she came to me and she was stuck really in the grieving process of denial even though her her divorce is finalized she's stuck in that denial grieving stage and for her the divorce really triggered a a lot of feelings of failure and shame for her and when we dug down deeply within her the truth is it wasn't a specific event that triggered her shame it was the entire way the communication of the family their way of, of dealing with feelings is you don't talk about feelings feelings are shameful if you have uncomfortable feelings or you have negative feelings you stuff that down so the message that she has as a young young girl was, oh, feelings are bad, feelings are shameful, I stuff them down, we don't talk about that. And so of course, having a, a divorce triggered all that and feeling like I can't talk about this horrible event that's going on in my life. So it triggered all the stuff within her. So talking about it, learning to articulate it, naming it, heals it. But I also have some tools and some activities that help you to validate that inner child so that he or she feels loved, he or she feels validated. You don't have to carry that around, right? So the other thing that you need to do is you need to cultivate positive relationships. Sometimes we have relationships in our life that, that we don't necessarily get to choose, our family members or people in our lives who may not choose and you have to learn how to put up some healthy boundaries with those people limiting contact with them so that their passive aggressive comments don't affect you so that um, when they demean you or, or they're they're pushing you down even though you're you want to celebrate your successes that that it no longer has power over you so you have to cultivate those relationships so I have a client and um, she came to me about six months ago and to see the transformation of her she came and she could barely open an email she was just so full of fear and doubt and and to see her today and how she has transformed her life and she's so confident and bright and her energy is amazing and wonderful and 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 just shown up for herself and taking control and not questioning herself is just um, amazing. And and she had a toxic person in her family. And this person is older than her and, and has for 70 years made comments, made little digs, made, you know, put her down, made her feel unworthy. And listen, she's done nothing but work on herself. She hasn't done anything different in this relationship with this family member but she has been working on herself and putting up healthy boundaries and becoming more confident and healing herself and I have to tell you this this person has put her down for 70 years and last week she got an email from this person telling her how amazing she is how inspirational she is how proud she is of her even I was like amazed that this occurred but I'm telling you when you show up differently in your life 
those around you will show up differently in your life. Even negative people can't hold a candle to you. I mean, it's just, it's just the energy she radiates and it, and it's affecting those around her, but in a positive way. And she's done nothing different in this relationship other than put up healthy boundaries. And this person is now seeing it and showing up differently in her life. So it is possible. So I want to ask you, what would your life look like if you released shame? You could feel happy, you could feel confident, you could do the things that you want in your life, you could find a happy, healthy relationship. It is possible. I am remarried, I have a great positive relationship with my ex and his wife, the four of us co-parent really great. And it didn't, it didn't happen overnight, but it's definitely possible, even from a contentious divorce, you can make it happen. I have a client who came to me five months ago, six months. She came, couldn't get through a phone call without crying. But through working with me now, she is confident and happy and left a narcissistic, really demeaning marriage to a man and now has found a really wonderful guy. And she's told me, I found my calling. My calling is to be a stepmom to these beautiful little girls. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. You know, and she said to me, you know, this, this is even better than therapy. So giving her the tools and the resources that she needs to release the shame and to let go of those feelings, it has transformed her life. She feels confident to do anything. She's now, you know, and her first instinct is to run from this healthy guy, right? She doesn't know what to do. She feels very vulnerable and, and to embrace this and, and to feel really great about it. It is, it is just amazing. So I can help you release these feelings of shame so that you can feel happy and confident and let go of the need to control, let go of your anxiety. I can help you let all that go so you can feel happy and confident again and maybe even find a wonderful new relationship with someone that you deserve. Because when you show up differently, the people around you are going to show up differently and you're going to attract a different kind of person to you. So if you are struggling with anxiety, self-doubt, shame, regret, remorse, reach out to me and I'm going to tell you, we're going to hop on the phone and I'm going to tell you the fastest way to release your shame so that you can find the happiness that you deserve. Okay, so reach out to me on Facebook. I'm right here. You can message me. We'll hop on a call, and I'm going to help you release that so you can find your happiness quickly. So I'm Terry Vanover, Choosing to Rise. I go live every week. We talk about a, a, a topic to help you heal. Next week, it is going to be letting go of that anxiety devil, getting that anxiety devil off your back so you can feel great again, feel confident again. Okay, so I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Reach out to me. I'm here for you if you have any questions or need anything. I'll see you next week.